upon a time, you and all your kind lived underneath bridges, had ridges for ribs that dropped off into empty chests as if your hearts were all stolen treasures, as if an excavation crew were hired to dig up and remove the part of you that let you feel, and while the world above you invented the wheel, you stayed put, knowing it would one day need to roll over top of you to get to where it's going. You had an endlessly flowing supply line of food. You began to brood over humanity and made meals of our hope, as if crushing our spirits would make your mirrors cast better reflections than the ones they gave, as if the only way you could save yourselves was to make the world ugly so no one would notice you hiding in it. You learned to knit pain into a kind of camouflage, treated hope like a mirage that you could use to lure in your next meal. You lived off of our fears if you could taste what we feel. And every night, as the moon read bedtime stories to sunlight, you took darkness as an invite to head out into the world. You curled your hands into wrecking balls. Your breath became squalls. You made rocks rumble. You made land shiver. You made boys and girls pray that someone would deliver them from you. We told them, you aren't real. And then one day, the world changed. But you all stayed the same. Just migrated from living underneath bridges to living underneath information superhighways. Days and nights became meaningless. Each already deepened chest became an abyss that no one would ever find the bottom of. Concepts like love fell into your gravity. We turned ourselves into life preservers, hoping to save as many as we could. But the fathers who stood guarding closet doors and the mothers who secured the floors underneath beds all shook their heads, not knowing how to deal with you. We can no longer afford to tell ourselves that you aren't real. We will not let you make your dinners out of the things we feel. <laughs>